Good evening, everybody. If the annexation goes through, Northwest Allen County schools could lose two and a half million dollars. Funds that pay for transportation and heating and cooling would be on the chopping block. News Channel 15's Gina Galeros has tonight's top story. Well, Superintendent Chris Himsel says he understands the city's logic. The property tax cap law is making the problem worse. We'd heard rumors about it um, over the past few months, but it wasn't until yesterday at 8.30 that I was able to meet with the mayor and, and officially be told what the plans were. If the annexation goes through, in addition to property owners paying taxes to their school district and county, they'll also pay the city, meaning a smaller piece of the pie for the districts. If you're already at your maximum levy, even though you're not going to be paying for the new services, it's going to be taken away from the other taxing units that are already collecting money and already providing services. Northwest Allen County Schools is one of them. Property tax caps were enacted in 2008, shortly after the district built or renovated its schools to accommodate growth. Those caps cost the district $1.9 million. If this annex goes through, the district will be out $4.4 million in total. We do not have any efficiencies left to take. The district will work with the city in hopes of finding a solution. Absent finding a solution that works for both of us, we will have to have a very difficult decision of either passing a referendum to cover the cost of transportation and those funds that are lost, or discontinuing transportation services altogether for our children. We're going to serve kids. We're going to do the best job that we can. The question is whether or not we're going to be able to come up with a solution that is best for all the taxing units or whether or not we're going to have to ask our community to step forward and, and make additional sacrifices so that all of our kids can benefit from the educational um, benefits that we provide. Himsel was hoping that lawmakers would extend a waiver to allow them to spread their money over all of their funds. But a waiver that allows school districts to do just that expires at the end of this year. Lawmakers decided not to renew the waiver in their last legislative session, meaning districts will have to focus on their debt first, then spread their money to other areas. In Studio 15, Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.